Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to learn how to promote a row in your data table to a column header. So to start, we're going to be working with this um, data set here where, as an example, I created like a, a, an invoice. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to read in this invoice into NIME. And then we're going to take this row that ha has the headers in the invoice and we're going to promote it from a row to become the header in the data table. All right, so let's get started. So just as a caveat, you don't necessarily have to do what I'm about to do, what we're going to walk through. Um, you don't need to do this to, to set like that row to the column header. You can actually um, make the adjustment in the Excel reader. Uh, but the thought here is that you can take what I'm going to teach you and use it in instances where your data table um, you're not at the starting point where you can tell the reader node to set a particular row as the header, right? So you inherit a table that um, you need to adjust the, the header. So you can use this logic for that. So what we're going to do, right, to get started is I have the data table read in already. Um, and I'm going to need you to grab the following nodes. We're going to take first the transpose node and then an insert column header node. Um, and you can find both of those in your node repository to the left. So you just search transpose. That'll be the only one when you try type in transpose. And then after that, you drag drop onto your workflow and then search for the column header and then grab the one that says insert column header. All right, so I've got those on the workflow already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this data table that has our invoice that we know has row two that we want to promote to the column header. We're going to take this table and we're going to connect it to the transpose node. And then we're also going to connect it to the top of the insert column header uh, node. So the first step here is this transpose. And what the transpose does is it's going to take this data table and it's basically going to flip it on its side. So right now, where the row IDs are uh, basically delineating every row, the row IDs will now be flipped so that they're in the header, and then the headers will be flipped so that they're actually in rows. And what this does, as you'll see here, um, is it creates almost like a mapping, right? So when we connect the transpose node, um, you can double click to configure. There really isn't much to it. Um, you can use this chunk size if you want to move or if you have like a large data set uh, with a lot of columns but we don't really we have a small data set so we don't need to really do anything as soon as we connect it we can literally hit execute and then that's the extent of the configuration we need to do once we've conf once we've executed we can right click and hit the results and now let me zoom in and hopefully you'll see what I was saying earlier where basically the table's flipped on its side. So now you can see the row IDs are in the header. And then what was previously the headers, or the header, column headers, is now in the row ID section. So what this does now is it creates a mapping where every existing column header is now matched to a row that holds the, the new headers that we want. So in other words, the row ID can is mapped to the row two, which has the true headers of what we want, right? So now that we've got that transposed, we can go to our insert column header, and this node takes in two inputs. The top input, which we cr connected already, is the data table. So the data table we're working with that has the headers that we want to replace, right? And then if you look at the second input, if you hover over it, this is where it asks for the dictionary table, aka that mapping that we have in the transpose node, where we know these row IDs can be mapped, or the headers can be mapped to the row two, because the invoice date was in the same position that the SKU header is in, right? So the invoice date sits right above the SKU. If we look at empty C, that should map to quantity in our transpose. 
just like it does, right? So this mapping is that dictionary that NIME is asking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the transpose node results, or that mapping, dictionary, whatever you want to call it. We're going to connect it to the bottom input of the insert column headers. So now we can execute, or sorry, not execute, configure. Now we can configure our insert column headers by double clicking. And this is where we tell NIME, um, so what's the original uh, column that has the headers that we're gonna that we're gonna replace as the lookup column and then what's the value mapped to it so we already know that the original the original is this it let's see if I can zoom in so we know that the original headers right now are the row ID so we've got our row ID set as the lookup column and then the values that we want to translate or we want mapped as the new header is that value column which is row 2 so basically we've got it all set up just by um, adjusting this or I think I might have set it up already sorry so you can see all the rows are already here I just select the row 2 because I know that has the new headers that we want and then row ID is the previous so we want that mapping we can hit apply hit OK and now we can execute this node and now we can right click since we're executed to see the results and now if we zoom into this new data table you can see that now our SKU is the first header then the description the quantity and so on and so forth um, so we have this row 2 set as now as our now set as our column header um, so now we can just go ahead and remove this row by using a rule based row filter and I'll show you that real quick before I end this video so we can take this rule based row filter and say not we're gonna say not row ID equal to I believe it's row two then we'll hit apply we'll hit OK we'll right click we'll execute let's look at our results so now we've cleaned up our data set and we've successfully promoted a row to the column header so that's all there is to it if you guys need anything clarified or if you have any questions just leave a comment I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and share this video with any of your friends that might find it useful. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video.